If you want to launch a mobile application for Android and iOS, I have a big news for you. I'm launching this complete full stack, open source, absolutely free Flutter template that you can use to build any sort of mobile application. This is how this template works. When you open it for the first time, it has a loading screen, then it has these onboarding screens as well. You can add your own images and in fact, you can just change the complete layout and style of these onboarding screens. Then you can simply just click on this get started and now there is a complete fully functional authentication system everything built for you already all you'll have to do you need to just like get firebase details how are you gonna do that i'll guide you in a second but for now let me just show you all of the features inside this application so you can simply just continue with google you can sign in with google so you can either log in using your own email address or you can log in using google as well and then i have integrated ai into this app i have actually integrated ai using open router that means you can use almost any sort of ai model out there if you're going to build an AI assistant kind of app or maybe like an app that can generate images everything you can build using this template because you can integrate any large language model from open router directly into this app right now i'm using deepseek r1 so just to test i'll ask it to tell me a joke so i'll just press enter and now it tell me a joke so let's just wait for it and now you can see it is responding and it has just shared an answer the answer is why don't scientists trust atoms because they make up everything uh, okay cool fine anyways so this is the ai integration now if you just go to this profile section from here you can see there are a lot of features there are a lot of like default profile features that will need inside your app that actually includes your app settings after that your profile name email address and the sign-in methods as well and users can directly change their password from here as well so all of those options i have already built for you and then you can simply just go to this settings tab and in here you can just find all of these different options from here and the most important one is this dark mode so you can simply just press on this and now we have our light mode and i can just like press it back now we have our dark mode then there is voice input settings user can set up that as well and then like there are a lot of other options in here users can actually sign out from here delete their account or whatever they want this is just the initial version of this template i have a huge list of features that i'm going to add to make this template the best flutter mobile application development template out there there will be much more advanced themes ui designs and a lot of other features for all of the features that i'm working on you can find details about every single feature from this link in description so just click on that link then you can just find everything on that web page i'm not going to charge anything from you for this template so this entire template with all of the upcoming features will be absolutely free to use if you have been watching my videos for a while so you might remember that i launched a completely open source SaaS kit which was absolutely free to use so just like that this flutter kit is also absolutely free to use and it will always be free for you to use so before we dive deep into this video and i walk you through that how you can set up this project please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well and share it with anyone who's looking to publish their mobile application so just click on the link in description and then you will be redirected to this page so this is the github repository and there is very detailed step-by-step -step documentation that i have created to run this github repository locally on your computer the first step is cloning this github repository so to do that you can simply just copy the link of this github repository you can simply just copy it from here or you can simply just copy it from here maybe and after that just open any folder on, on your computer and from there you can simply just like open your terminal inside that folder and then after that you can simply just run this command which is git clone and then press enter and now it will clone github repository locally on your computer after that you can just use any ai code editor something like maybe vs code you can use or something like cursor or windsurf whatever sort of code editor you use but i highly highly recommend you using an ai code editor because ai will be writing code for you so you can use something like cursor or something like windsurf you can just like go to cursor.com or you can just like go to something like windsurf.com and yes no you cannot use something like bold.new or liveworld.dev because those are web-based ai code editors and you are actually going to clone this github repository locally on your computer so that's why you cannot use bold.new or liveable you can only use cursor or windsurf the reason why i'm actually giving this like absolute beginner friendly guideline because i know most of my audience they are very new to programming they are very new to like software development or like app development in general 
well so they need to know all of these like minor details so from here just start following this documentation and the first step is you just clone your github repository in here after that just open your project inside vs code just like this so this is where i have opened my project inside vs code so this is vs studio code and my project is opened inside this Visual Studio Code. After that, we need to just run this command, which is flutter pub get, and what it will do, it will just like install dependencies for your Flutter project. So because we are using a lot of packages, so it needs to install all of those packages, and to do that, you need to just like run this command inside your terminal. So this is your terminal. You need to just run your command in here. So just like open, like maybe just simply click on this plus button, and after that, just add enter this command i'll actually create a more in depth and more in detail video separately but in this video i'm just like going to walk you through all of the steps that you need to do to run this project so once that is done now next step is you need to go to firebase firebase is actually a back-end development platform from google so you need to just go to firebase and sign up so you can simply just go to google and search for firebase so this is firebase simply just go to firebase log in using your google account it is absolutely free to start you can simply just log into firebase and then you can simply just click on this go to console button so once you'll sign up for firebase this is how it will look like after that you can simply just click on this create a firebase project and then you can just give your project a name so just give your project any sort of name and then just simply click on continue and create your project so i have already created my project which is this flutter template after that you can simply just like open this project in here and now once your project is created and you have opened this dashboard now just go back to your documentation and see what sort of details you need from firebase so first of all you need to create your firebase project after that add your app to firebase so because your app is not published yet so that's why you cannot add your app to firebase but you'll still need to provide a bundle id which is something like com dot your company name dot your app name so you need to like create a bundle id and then you need to provide that something like something like this so it will be com dot tmc dot flutter test this was like just a project name but you can just like name it anything that you want so you can simply just click on this add app button from here from there you can just simply click on this android button if you're launching this publishing your app for android and if you're publishing your app for iphone you can simply just like choose this ios button and then you can just add these details in here so once you provide your app details after that you can simply just once you have like provided this package name your app name you can simply then click on register app and then it will create a config file and, and then it will allow you to download that config file and then you can just add that config file inside this project so your firebase the complete firebase integration will be done but let me just show you all of these steps one by one so you don't get confused so once you add your app from here after that what you can do you can simply just click on that and now just go to your app settings from here and now this is the config file that you need to add inside your flutter project so firebase has just created a file that contains all of the integration settings inside it that is required to integrate your flutter project with firebase this will actually help you to like create your complete authentication system your complete database and everything so you need to just like download this uh, uh, this file which is called google-services.json file and it's called like config file so you can simply just download this file this is how this file will look like so our file has been downloaded now next step is you need to now go to your app folder and inside app folder you need to then drop this file over there so i uh, let me just open my project in here so inside this flutter project there is this android folder so just open this android folder inside that android folder there is this app folder and then drop that file in here so you can just like maybe right click and then click on this reveal in file explorer and then you can just like copy that file that you just downloaded paste that file in here make sure the name is correct and you don't change anything but yeah this is how you can copy this file don't worry if you are getting confused i'll create a separate video where i'll just like walk you through each and everything where i will clone this repository and then and then create a new app in live session so don't worry about that if you are confused right now just like watch next video and then you'll actually get a better guideline so once this firebase setup is done that means now your app has a fully functional backend and now fully functional authentication system the google login and email login and the complete backend everything is now fully functional and working the next step is open router integration so for that you can simply just go to open 
open router so we are using open router to integrate large language models llms inside our app so you can just go to openrouter.ai again it's free to start and you can just like choose any free large language model from here just sign up using google and after that simply just go to this keys section from here and now you can simply just click on this create api key and just like give it a name click on create and it will create an api key for you so once you have copied your api key just go back to this documentation and from here just go to this lib folder then there is a config folder and inside this config folder there is this file which is called api config so this is our lib folder and inside this lib folder this was this config folder and then this is api config dot file and in here just paste your open router api key in here and that's it next one more thing that you need to do because we need to specify what sort of large language model we are going to use so you can just go back to open router and then from here you can just choose any large language model so you can simply just go to open router from here just maybe look for free if you know like use something like free something like maybe deep seek so this is deep seek r1 this is a free model this deep deep seek r1 free so it will cost you zero dollars for per million input tokens zero dollars per million output tokens make sure that you do not use this in production in production i recommend you using its paid version but just like go to this and from here you can simply just click on this api section and from this api section you all you need to do you need to simply just copy this from here this is the model id you need to simply just copy this one from here because this one is free it has a free in front of it so copy it from here then paste it inside here you can see i'm not using the free one i'm using the paid one so you can see it in here and if you want to use the paid one so you can simply just like again look for deep seek so this is the paid one so in this paid one if you just like go to this api settings and from here you can see this is the model id of this paired one just paste that in here and that's it now next step will be if you want to like test this application and see and make sure that everything is running so you can simply just like now create an android build to create an android build you need to just like run one command this is the command for android build which is flutter build apk and then debug so you simply just run this command and it will create an apk file for you that you can then install on your android phone and then you can just like test it and then if you are using something like cursor or windsurf now you can just like target actually ask his chatbot and then share like details about your app that you want to build and if there will be any sort of like errors any sort of like setup errors or if you're like confused about anything right after cloning this app or maybe if you if you just want to like copy paste this url this like github url from here you can just like copy this github url from here then paste it inside your cursor or windsurf and ask it to like clone this github url and then like clone it locally install all of the dependencies and guide you that how you can just like put all of these details in here how to set up like firebase and everything ai code editor can actually do on your behalf right now you can see i'm using augment code so i'm actually a big fan of augment code i switched from cursor like for a while and now i'm regularly using augment code so i'm just using augment code the functionality is very similar to like a cursor agent cascade agent from windsurf so yeah, this was how easy to set up this flutter template if you are still confused and you have like still so many questions i know you will have like a lot of questions so just leave your questions in comment section and i'll try my best to respond each and every single one of them but wait for the next video where i'll give you a complete detailed step-by-step -step guide that how you can actually clone this like flutter template and then create a new application using this template it is going to save you a lot of time because a lot of difficult modules have already been developed so you won't have to like create everything from scratch and now new features are coming as well so you won't have to like do everything from scratch so please don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section i see you next video bye, -bye.